All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lian Duan, and I'm a content creator based here in Maryland. My goal with the channel is to be a resource to develop the career thought, tutorials behind the screen content, and owners' podcasts. So if you are into sort of thing, make sure you subscribe to join the career crew. It goes a long way towards supporting this channel, and it makes sure that you never miss out. Last year, I created an install minikube in Windows 10 while Docker desktop video. After one year, there are a lot of changes on Windows, Docker, and minikube. So I created a new video for install minikube in Windows 10 or Docker desktop 2022 version. The video little markdown file is on GitHub. The link is below. Video topic is precondition check. Install Docker desktop. Install Chuckity. Install and verify Minikube. First topic, precondition check. At the hardware level, enable virtualization in BIOS. The page has detail on how to go into computer BIOS and turn on virtualization for famous computer brand. And then let me remote log into my box, show my Windows version. Open the command window, run command, system info. You see, my Windows 10 version is 10.0.19044. Make sure your Windows version equal higher than the version. If your Windows version less than 10.0.19044, you may need to run following steps. For the link, enable Windows subsystem for Linux 2 for Docker. Also, you need Download and install Linux kernel update package. The download URL is highlighted. Remove the second topic. Install Docker desktop. Copy the link. My switch to my demo box. Copy and paste the URL. You see the license upgrade of Docker desktop. If your company have over 250 employees or revenue more than $10 million per year, you have to use paid license in your dev environment. If you install the version in your personal box, it's fine. Also, I will create another video, install Minikube var Hyper-V to avoid use Docker desktop. Click download. Download completed, open the download folder. Click the install file. Select yes. Click OK. Click close. Go down to the start menu. Select Docker desktop. Agree the license. Docker desktop is starting. I do not turn on the Kubernetes in Docker desktop because Kubernetes run Docker desktop is more resource than the Minikube and harder to return to the initialized status. Next, done. Docker desktop installed successfully. Switch back to the markdown file. And then we move to the install Chocolatey. Chocolatey is a software management solution in Windows. It seems like NPM if you are a UI developer. Chocolatey is used to install Kubernetes command line interface and the Minikube. The URL includes all the detail of install Chocolatey on Windows. Let me copy the command and switch to my demo box. Open the command window and paste the command. Install successfully. Let me switch back to the markdown file. If your box already have Chocolatey, please run Choco upgrade Chocolatey command to upgrade Chocolate itself to the latest version. The latest topic for today, install and verify Minikube. Run command, Chocolate install Kubernetes CLI and install Minikube. Let me switch back to the demo environment. Choco install Kubernetes hyphen CLI. Yes, next run command, Choco install Minikube. After install, let me verify Minikube. Start Minikube first. Command is Minikube start. Next step, run Minikube space status to check all components of Minikube. All components are running. Open the Minikube dashboard. Command is Minikube space dashboard. Dashboard is open. Select all namespace. All parts are green. It looks good. Use the Ctrl C to stop the dashboard and then run Kuba Control space version to retrieve Kubernetes client and the server version. 
the result show us Kubernetes control calendar version and the Kubernetes version. All topics are completed. Today I demoed install mini cube in Windows 10 or Docker desktop. Thank you for watching the video and see you the next time.